Okay, I have started recording this meeting. Um, first of all, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Hi. I'm doing pretty good. So we are here to talk about Benjamin today. And let me see what we got here. I just went over all of your um, previous providers plans and notes um, and I went over doctor recommendations, um, all that fun stuff. So just quickly, um, can I get your your son's birthday? Yeah, he was born uh, January 15th, 2020. January 15th, 2020. Got it right before COVID. Yeah. Um, okay, perfect. So for his language abilities, um, is he nonverbal? Is he kind of able to use one word to describe what he wants? Is he fully talking? Where yeah, he he's able to use some words. Some um, words. Yeah, not full sentences, but um, he does use a couple words here and there. Okay, and would you say that there, when he is talking, is it more like he is using one word at a time, or is he maybe stringing together, like, short, maybe a little bit discombobulated sentences at a time? Yeah, exactly. It's it's just, like, discombobulated sentences, just, like, okay. mom toy or something like that okay perfect um and I know kiddo's a little bit young but are they currently in school no no not okay. school yet perfect and then um I believe I saw in the doctor's notes that he is currently receiving speech therapy correct yeah that's correct okay. perfect but no OT physical therapy anything like that just speech no nothing like that yeah okay. Perfect. Um, so I would love it if you could um, tell me some of the play skills that Benjamin has, some of his preferred toys or things that he likes to do. Yeah, so um, he really likes trains. Um, he mostly just kind of does little train noises and makes them ride around. Um, and he really likes to watch Bluey. Okay his favorite shows he likes to constantly have that on okay perfect um is there anything else that he really enjoys any other specific toys activities does he like to play outside does he prefer to be inside yeah uh he, he we have a trampoline outside that he loves to go jump out there so he's he spends a lot of his time on that trampoline okay that's for sure Perfect. That sounds fun. Um, are, is Benjamin currently taking any medications? No, no medications. Okay. And sleep, how's his sleep? Is he sleeping okay? Um, yeah, yeah, he sleeps really well. Perfect. All right, so now we are going to start talking about um, some of the behaviors that you feel might be an issue that you would like us to address moving forward. Um, so what are some of the problem behaviors that you are seeing with your son? Yeah, so he can be a bit aggressive sometimes okay. um, when he wants stuff or when I take stuff away. Um, he can get aggressive towards me or towards um just whoever's taking away the his favorite little thing that he's playing with at the moment um so that's one big thing and he also likes to run and I live in an apartment complex where it's in a busy street so um that's definitely something that's concerning because okay. as soon as I take my eyes off him he's gone unless yeah, doors locked or something, but okay. Um do you have any like child locks on the front door currently or like I do, yeah. Tight that... Okay, perfect. I want to make sure I get all of this information correct. 
Sure. Okay. Um, so what would you say are like your top three concerning behaviors that maybe you would want to see us work on in a typical session? So yeah. I guess the aggression and eloping are kind of up there, but are there any other ones that are of concern? Um, I would like for him to work um on uh potty training because he's not potty trained yet. Okay. And yeah, definitely his speech. I know he's already in speech training, but if that could be also just tackled onto that, that'd be good. Okay. Um, what about like eating? Is he a good eater? Is he a picky eater? Oh yeah, he's very picky, and that reminded me. Yeah, for sure. I I would like to work on that. He he loves his chicken nuggets and his mozzarella sticks or stuff like that, but nothing too, um, too crazy. You know, like he's not very good with veggies, and he's not very good with foods that just um can be different. And depending on uh how I made them, he likes more consistent stuff. Um, something a little bit more nutritional would be good okay um and then what about uh like when he is eating um how does he do with like using silverware is he able to use a fork or a spoon um or is that something that's a difficult skill for him yeah um he could use a spoon um but usually uh no fork and knife just hands at that point okay but if it's like something uh liquid like um i don't know a cup of noodle or something mm -hmm. he could use a spoon there but okay not yeah that's probably the only utensil that he actually does use <laughs> okay and then with these problem behaviors how aggressive is he towards other people in the in the way of like providing no nope, that's not how I wanted to say that um like how likely are others or himself to get injured with his behaviors like is his aggression is he very very strong um is it kind of like that toddler slap where it's it's more of them expressing what they're trying to do rather than actually inflicting inflicting pain on you right, right. he falls yeah, I mean, he, he does that toddler smack for sure. I mean, he's four, so it's not very strong at the moment. But okay. I know that, like, once he starts getting some strength, I don't, I'm concerned that it might escalate. Okay. And so that's what I want. That's definitely something I, I do want to take care of or handle. Um, okay. So when let's look at his aggression, for example, do these behaviors tend to occur like randomly in bursts or does there tend to be like something specific that triggers these behaviors? Would you say? Yeah. I mean, it's definitely something that triggers it. It can either be me taking something away. Um, changing the channel or um maybe i'm not like understanding exactly what he wants um because he's not like communicating it properly so sometimes i just don't catch on right away and that uh mostly when he's frustrated i would say just okay. kind of sum it up there but and what does this um i'm sorry i should have asked this earlier when he does engage in aggression what does that aggression typically look like is it an open palm and a slap is he going for more of a punch is he pinching is he scratching what are you typically seeing when he does get aggressive um it depends it can sometimes be a smack um usually open palm um mm -hmm. but he does sometimes pinch too when I'm holding something that he wants to kind of like make me let go. He'll try smacking. He'll try pinching, um, even biting sometimes. Perfect. Um, 
do these behaviors like the the aggression or any of the other behaviors that we've kind of talked about with like the eloping um do they occur during any particular activities like is it usually like you you know for sure that if um he's playing with toys and another kid approaches him is he going to get aggressive every time like does it seem to have specific events that trigger it or activities um yeah usually he's not a big sharer so you know kids tend to just kind of grab what they want um mm -hmm. so he can definitely be aggressive in that in that sense um i think if if a kid comes up and is not trying to take away his thing then he's totally fine playing next to them and he won't be aggressive towards that at all it's not like his bubble gets um locked into and then he gets aggressive it's more like when they try to take away his stuff okay that makes total sense um okay what about the eloping what seems to to trigger that behavior does it seem like there's anything specific triggering it or does it feel random that one's a bit more random yeah it's more like when i'm not paying attention as soon as i take my eyes off him he tries to um just run away i guess maybe gets distracted starts chasing stuff i'm not quite sure he just it's very random that's why it's hard to catch Mm -hmm. okay and when he does run away do you know like have you picked up on is he like looking over his shoulder to see if you're following him um is he laughing or does he more so seem to just kind of be distracted and unaware of where you are yeah he seemed he he does not look back whatsoever he's gone like he has no okay. care whether i'm there or not um He's just, maybe he sees something and he goes towards it. It's not, um, there's no restraint to stay near or anything or even um, tell me or anything. It's more like just take off. Um, but no, he doesn't look back and uh, no no laughing or anything like that. It's more just like a... Okay. Run um, would you say that he maybe has a lack of awareness for his own safety and the things that are going on around him? For sure. Yeah. Okay. It's not, he, he's not taking anything into account. If he sees a ball on the other side of the road, he's running towards it. Got it. Okay. Um, and then, so going back to the aggression, um, when you are breaking your routine or you're interrupting activities, does the problem behavior occur? Yeah, for sure. Okay, because I know you had talked about interrupting activities, um, like you taking away his toy that he's playing with or changing the channel of maybe something. Yeah, say like I want to give him a bath and Bluey's on and he's watching Bluey, and then, then he starts getting aggressive. Okay, and then what about... Um, when you like break your routine like if you have like a pretty consistent routine for the day and then life happens something comes up and that routine has to change a bit do you tend to see a spike in behaviors then or does he handle change in routine okay uh no the tantrums definitely do increase when um when the the routine changes like for example okay. the other day i had to go to the groceries in the middle of the day mm -hmm. um which i don't usually do i usually do that in the weekends um but uh that already kind of started this domino effect throughout the entire day where it was just tantrum after tantrum okay um and so does this aggression we'll talk about aggression and eloping on this one for aggression i'm assuming that this happens when he actually i'm not going to assume i'm going to ask you does this behavior occur when he's not getting his way yeah for sure that's when the aggression mostly happens okay what about eloping eloping no that's that's more uh yeah random like i said just okay 
see something he wants or maybe we're just in a crowd and he just takes off. I some, I don't know if it's always something that he sees that he wants that he runs out. He's just, mm -hmm. I'm more worried about catching him. Of course. <laughs> Um, okay. So for, let's go back to the aggression. You said it occurs when he's not getting his way. Um, can you like describe the things, like what it looks like when he's trying to gain that control back, like what he's doing in order to get things back to the way he wants them? Yeah. So he'll, you know, just start throwing a tantrum. He'll start like, if I'm trying to take away his his train um, or something because we got to go and maybe I don't want he has a really big train here that just isn't very portable. Um, so when I'm trying to take him away from that, when he's playing, it's just, yeah, he he starts uh, screaming, hitting, biting. Um, it's just it's a whole ordeal to pull him away from it. OK. It. okay and when he is let's start with aggression first when he is a, engaging in aggression how are you or others that maybe the aggression is occurring towards usually reacting or responding to this behavior um usually obviously if it uh if he starts biting me i'll pull away um just because it's my own natural reaction right um but it's more it, yeah it becomes a bit of a screaming match for sure uh i know it's something i need to work on but um it's just when you're overwhelmed and stuff like that it can uh i know i kind of fall into the same pattern as well <laughs> It happens to the best of us. You are not alone on that one. Um, and then would you say that it's typically the same reaction um, for other people when the aggression occurs? Yeah, for sure. It's not specifically towards me. Um, if his uh, aunt comes to take it away, it's the same same reaction. Okay. Um, now for the elopement, how do you usually respond when he takes off i chase and catch <laughs> okay i mostly like just chase him and then i pick him up and then uh he stays on my arm for a while until obviously i get tired he's head boy and then i'll put him down eventually and then probably start it all over again it's just... okay. <laughs> okay perfect um and then so say he is engaging in aggression um, what do you or others usually do to attempt to calm him down? Like once he's escalated, um, usually just try to talk soothing, try and give him hugs. Um, you know, there's put on some music or something to kind of calm the mood and put us all in a bit of a happier spot to give us a little bit more patience with each other, but. Mm -hmm. Usually, yeah, it's just kind of let him let it run its course as much as I can and then just try and, and sit patiently until he gets over that hump of tantrum and then eventually he starts calming down again. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay, and then what do you or others do to distract him from engaging in the behavior? Like, is there anything that you guys do to kind of prevent it from happening um yeah I mean we try to entice him or make the other thing that we're trying to make it make him do look more appealing like if I am trying to give him a bath I'll start to put some toys in there and try and make it look funner so that it looks like a better choice okay overall but yeah um, and what about with el eloping? Um, eloping, it's, yeah, it's just trying to just chase and catch. And then I, I honestly have no idea how to tackle that sometimes. It's because it's so, it's so random and out of the blue. I don't know exactly. Like I try to, you know, obviously talk to him and tell him to 
stay by my side. Um, we do have a little leash <laughs> that we use in public um, to avoid him running. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're almost done. Just a couple more questions. You're doing great. Um, so what do you think that Benjamin is trying to communicate with you when he is engaging in this problem behavior, if anything at all? Uh, which one, the aggression? We'll start with aggression, yes. Um, I mean, he's just trying to get his way. That's for sure. Like, he doesn't want to change whatever he's doing, and so that's his only way of kind of expressing it or even if uh he's trying to tell me something and I'm not like understanding and he'll get aggressive um mm -hmm. I think that's mostly just frustration of being like hey like this is what I'm trying to say why can't you hear me or understand me uh -huh. um and so yeah okay um and what about the eloping do you think that he's trying to communicate anything when he elopes um I'm not sure on that one. Okay. Uh, I think maybe I'm just not fast enough and he's trying to get places. Okay. But maybe he's a little bit impatient of getting um, to where we're going or something and he'll just uh -huh. take off. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not too sure with that one. Okay. Okay. And then do you think that this, uh, we'll start with the aggression. Um, do you think the aggression is a form of like self stimulation like do you think he's engaging in in it because he's not either overly or under stimulated in his environment um it it could be yeah i mean i don't i don't know uh for me it just looks more like um i don't want to do whatever you're trying to tell me to do and so yeah. i get annoyed right um but maybe there's something that I'm not quite seeing there. Okay. Okay. Um, and what about with the elopement? Um, yeah, same. I mean, I think he's just trying to get me to move faster maybe, um, or maybe he sees something and he's too excited that he can't communicate. So he just like goes for it. Okay. Um, so there could be some kind of message there. Okay, perfect. And last question I have for you um, is why do you think that he is engaging in these behaviors? We'll start with aggression. Um, I think it's frustration, yeah. Okay, frustration. frustration. Yeah. I get Plain it. Plain simple. I feel it. And then yeah. the, the elopement. Why do you think um, that might be more excitement? Um, overall, I think it it's not like we're in the house and he'll run away uh, from the house. But if I'm like trying to go to the car, mm -hmm. then yeah, he runs. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. I think that is all the questions that I have for you. Um, do you have any questions, concerns, anything at all? Uh, no, I can't think of anything right now, but okay. I'm sure some will come up later on. Well, that's what we're here for. You can reach out to us anytime. Um, okay, so I'm going to take all of this information and I'm going to start working on our uh, behavior intervention plans. I'm going to start working on different programs that would be effective to work on in the typical session. Um, and then we're going to hit the ground running and get things started. Um, okay. Looking forward to working with you. Um, thank you so much for giving me all of your time. Um, and we'll we'll get in contact soon. Of course. Thank you, Haley. Okay. Thank you.